Okay, so we found Boomtown, and they're holding Laughing Deer, so we gotta try and break him out of here. We're gonna start combat. Our setup is this. So we've got the Dirty Coppers here. They, they have Trick Shot. We've got the Buckshot here with some AoE, and then we've got the Wild Buffalo Rifle with 8 damage. Uh, there's some optional objectives in getting the Necklace and killing all the enemies on the first round. Uh, killing Sheriff Richie and all his henchmen is number one, and then we get the uh, the Widowmaker. We've also got a couple sticks of dynamite here, so let's rock and roll, shall we? I'm thinking we could probably end the episodes um, by loading into this mission, and then we would just start right in the mission uh, at the beginning of an episode. I think that would be pretty nice. Okay. So this is our first, like non-tutorial go here excited that's enough we'll be taking that gentleman with us now thank you look at what crawled out from under the snow guys another lost soul in boomtown pleasure's all mine sheriff see this friend of yours is wanted in at least four states for murdering some big fat and famous chief did you know about this? I don't care. He's mine. Give him back now. You heard that, jackass boys? Did that sound like a threat to you? You sure did sound like a threat to me. <laughs> Do we have time for this? I'm asking you one last time. Say pretty please. <laughs> so he wants to Flynn? die. On it, boss. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, that's... Okay, so that's her special ability that we read about. So maybe it's just going to introduce those to us? Shadow Barrage. Each posse member has a unique skill. Jin can shoot bullets that pass through cover and walls. We call this skill the Shadow Barrage. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, it costs two. It does six damage range of 12 so it wants us to choose shadow barrage and, learn, kids. and choose targets so this is not going through any walls but that's fine uh the nice thing about this is we will kill one of them and we'll damage the others so we should get bravado off this but this will go on cooldown yeah that's really nice something we got to keep in mind with the shotgun too Shadow Swap. Yeah, so this is what we read on hers. Allows her to change places with foes and allies. The Unstable Witchcraft does a small amount of damage to her and the target, though. I think it's 1 HP, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like that didn't happen for, like, the training purposes. Choose Shadow Step skill from the bottom and choose the target. Oh, I didn't even see the guy up here. How many others do we have? Holy smokes. Okay. So, I want to be able to kill all these guys in the first round. I hope this doesn't mess us up. Let's do the swap. That's going to put him down to four. Right? Oh, yeah. We have Laughing Deer, too. More skills to unlock as you progress through Hard West. Uh, right now, though, you know everything you need to massacre these bastards in town. Love it. Yeah, we do have him. He's dealing four as well. No, wait. Oh, wait, why is he dealing more than four? It's showing three there, four here. Uh, but then it's showing four here. I'm not sure. But this is a kill. So I might as well take this. Now, actually, if I really want to optimize stuff, I should look to move him and then get this kill. So that we're a little closer to the other enemies, right? I think that's I think that's the idea. Let's yeah. see what else we have here. So she needs to get a kill here to get bravado. Should we kill the one out back? Let's do it. Elevation bonus of 25%. Okay, that's pretty big. It's pretty 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 big. So well, let's use one to come in right here. Easy. 
and see if we can do this. I'll try. We'll take it. Thank you. Now, can you Oh, it looks like you they can't jump off, so they have to use a ladder. Interesting. Interesting. Take your time. Okay, so let's think about this. In order to kill these guys, we do have one gun What's that does play? eight right here. Okay. So if we can get this guy down a bit, we can kill him. These other guys will take two shots from the pistols. Um, so maybe like finishing attacks will be used to weaken them. And then for you, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to move a whole lot, but you have a hundred percent chance to hit each of these, right? Let's get this over with. So laughing deer, you could kill this guy and get bravado. Is it better for me to maybe move here closer so I can maybe knock these guys? Oh, I actually need to go here. Let's go. Better find my stuff. This is cool. It's uh, coming off of just playing a lot of Into the Breach, like that puzzly nature of combat. I really like, and uh, because this is a new system, this is basically what it feels like. Uh, okay. Now, hold on a sec. Old Man Bill. Let's kill this guy. I don't see any downsides. Oh, wait. This is dealing six. So, maybe it's because of their cards. Can I see, like... Click to preview. Yeah, pistol arrow. So, he gets plus one. So that's why we're seeing that. And I bet you you have something similar. Yeah, so he gets plus one on melee weapons. So the key is to look down here. One and only. Then you've got the shadow barrage and horseback riding. Okay, okay. So now Ready the mysteries are, are solved. Okay, so we need to... Oh, What's I bet you you could probably kill each of these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. We're gonna go here. Uh, let's actually. Hmm. Should we move at all? I don't know that it actually matters. Okay, so down to five. If old man Bill hits, well, just to make sure, we could actually take this too. Bravado up. This oh, huh. didn't want to do that. Okay, I got to I got to make sure I'm I'm clicking off of this because it auto targets. I wonder if there's an option to turn off that auto targeting. That would actually be kind of nice. Um. On the plus side, we're still going to be able to get this guy low right. enough. Die. Let's go again. Ah. And then here, this will work. Was a bad call, Richie. And this will work. Boom. Easy. Okay, cool. We're going to look back at this and be like, oh, yeah, this is pretty easy. <laughs> I'm sure things are going to get wild. So now what happens? How do I... How do I go and get his equipment? Like, are we... Are we going to get another turn to go and do this? Or are we supposed to try and get this on the turn? I guess we'll yeah. find out, eh? Yeah. Use Flynn's skill, Shadow Step, or Shadow Swap on Rifleman. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. I am angry most of the time. So we get new objectives popping up. Me. I guess I do have to do this during combat.
We'll take that. Now, what's the range on this bad boy? <sighs> Looks like unlimited. Are they both riflemen? Yes. So this is cool because she's going to go in there and be right next to somebody. And then she can kill them. And then these guys can kill the one that I swap with. Good job, Flynn. Good job, Flynn. Oh, she's she's feeling lippy. Oh, I found new enemies. Interesting. Okay. So, uh, from here I need to bravado up. That's fun. Old man Bale. We're gonna bring him up a bit. And then take the shot. Good job. A price on my head. I don't think Laughing Deer is going to be able to hit anyone, unfortunately. Let's just go here for now. And then Jin will bring you to the half cover. And Flynn, what can I do? I've got 100% on those guys, so I can kill both of them. That seems solid. There's one. Now, do I want to move here, is the question. I don't know if these guys can pop out of windows or not. They can probably shoot through them. Yeah, they can probably shoot through them. I could take the full, but I'm just worried that they come out and slam me, you know? And I only got 75% up there. Whereas from here, it's 100. Um, yeah, we take the 100, we get the bravado, and then we move. What is this? Oh... Uh, the little skull, I guess, is where the main guy might be. That would make sense. Okay. So we see a five in there. 75% from here. It's not impossible. We don't have any luck to use, but... If I'm not taking a 75, then... What am I doing? We could bounce, it seems. Are these all bounces? Yeah. It's not like I can shoot this and knock it down or something. 75. Come on, baby. Yeah, that'll do. And now I see this guy. Do I have any follow-up? Old man Bill, he's too far away. So that's a no. Easy. Looking for trouble? And I could take this and stay here. I'm just not sure, like, how much damage these guys can put out, you know? So is it wiser for me to pull back, is the question. I'm gonna say probably. Smart. <laughs> Thank you. I thought so, too. Heads down. I'm really happy there's no ammo management. Seems like, at least so far, all of our... Oh, what? Did he just pull that up for cover? That's sick. Got him now. Uh, if we had to manage ammo too, that would be... pretty challenging. Let's do this. Okay. Laughing deer, my dude. I think we're gonna go in here, soften this guy up a bit. I've been run out of much better towns than this. Jin's very far. 
How much does this cost? Shadow Barrage is two. But now I don't have I don't have to worry so much. Because the timer's gone. Let's hide behind this monument. That timer, I'm just talking about that first objective. Oh, we've got the swap back up too. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well. Let's swap here. Because we get six damage with Old Man Bill. And he'll be exposed. And that gets us a little closer as well. And we actually only need the five because this guy's going to be taking a damage. Same as us. Patience. Okay. That'll do. Should we try a dynamite in here? That's pretty solid. Let's go. Now, these guys... For trouble? Oh, this is out of view. Oh, that's too bad. Can old man Bill see? He can. This is taking into account his luck, I believe. Yeah. But if he could get this, that would be huge. 75. Come on, old man Bill. Ripperoni, pepperoni. And unfortunately, these guys are out of range for laughing deer, too. Okay, so we could have done that a little differently. I'm not going to take that shot. We'll take the full cover from both sides and go heads down. Take it, boys. I'm in full, so I'm not imagining a lot of damage over there. Die, pig. So far, Guess so good. What? I think we can go two so times speed here. Let's get him. Bastard. Nice. See, now... Just laughing point. Deer, he comes in and cleans up. You love to see it. Let's go. Alright, now it's we have to decide who we want to weaken. Uh, he, actually, he can two-shot this guy. Because we have to move and then hit. And then we get the extra one. And then we're going to get another double attack over here. And he should be easy enough to kill. Uh, hold on. Should I swap him again? If I swap him, he's down to six, and then Old Man Bill can kill him. So, yeah. Nope! Careful! Okay. <laughs> that targeting, man. That's gonna mess me up so many times. Can she actually see him? Can I bounce it off of this when it's raised? Nope. So, yeah. It's not just bouncing off stuff, but we can actually interact with this. I'm just going to try it just to see. Yeah, that's so cool. Do we get full cover from this side? No. All right. And it counts as half. Still good. Let's come down here. Yeah. yeah. Old man Bill, he's yours. First time? Love that. Love that. Is there anyone else after the head of my pal? <laughs> yeah, I'd say That's that went pretty I well. <laughs> Holy smokes. Four turns, 20 kills, Bravado Streak 4. All the side objectives, all the loots. 20 bucks. 
The Widowmaker, which we already have. Bullseye Chance buff. The character adds 15% Bullseye Chance when using the weapon. Some Kidney Beans to heal up for 6. Dynamite and Coyote Tooth Necklace. This necklace has been passed down in Laughing Deer's family from father to son for generations. Each bearer of the necklace added a fang from a coyote he killed. To prove his worth in these hard times, Deer had to use his bare hands to defeat a demonic predator attacking his village. Since then, the ancestral spirits living in the necklace have supported him in close combat. The bullseye chance bonus this lens only works with melee weapons. But that's great, because I think right now, I don't even know if he has one. So you could do a retry. All right. Pfft, sick. This is fun, dudes. I'm having a great time. All right. Pay attention to flashing objects. You can often make new covers from chests, tables, and other interactive... Yeah, uh, or coffins. Laughing Deer wiped the blood off his face and spat like he ate something foul. He took his things from Flynn with a scowl. It rhymed. Man didn't know how to lose. Didn't know how to say thank you either. Good to see you back. We thought you were dead. Flynn flung herself from uh, over Deer's neck, but he shoved her away angrily. You both left me there. And Kestro. <laughs> and now you're happy to see me? So sometimes you'll have to decide which posse member should act in certain events. When you choose an option suggested by a certain posse member, that character earns loyalty points. Now, we don't know what the benefits are of loyalty. Uh, we saw in the character screens a loyalty bar, so maybe we could hover over that and look. Uh, so Laughing Deer... So it takes eight to get to Accomplice. She did what she could. I feel like I'm gonna... Uh, if, if there's a buff to be had, I feel like Flynn is a little bit more usable. So, let's go with her. She did what she could. You know you can trust me, Jin. You think she wouldn't go back for you next if she could? She did her best, and now she saved your ass here. You best remember that. It's okay, Jin. We're all angry. Right, dear? What were the charges? Whatever you did must have been... Pretty bad if you're wanted even in Oregon. How many times or how many places put a price on your noggin? All of them. <laughs> so how did I you survive? I figured you for dead. Same moment when you and Flynn vanished, landed in a pile of snow. After I dug myself out, a rider in the distance saw me staggering around. Instead of helping me, he took off. Came back later with a whole mob of men. Okay, maybe we chill out for a while. Let's lay low. Take Richie's horse and let's find a place to rest. Give the folks some time to crawl back out. I saw a doctor's office nearby. We could get patched up proper tomorrow. We'll also visit that train station. We need to get the hell out of this freezing shithole. Laid low at some shack in the town outskirts, waiting for the day to pass. The townsfolk avoided us, unsure if we're allies or enemies. But looking at the way they cleaned their streets of the corpses, they didn't like that Richie guy much. At dawn, we took off to find the medic. A posse member who falls in combat recovers 1 HP after the fight is over. Other characters keep the number of HP with which they finish the shootout. All wounds can be healed by visiting a surgeon. Okay. So when they die, they're like out for combat. And then they come back with one health. Look at all of this. I gotta figure out how to cross this, man. I need to know what's over there. I think I spotted something. A surgeon's that office direction. stood at the outskirts of town. It smelled like alcohol and gangrene. Door was open. Scowled at our cuts and bruises. I can patch you up. But it'll cost you. This ain't charity. 20 bucks to heal everyone? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna pass on that. And maybe we can uh eat some of these beans. He's full. She can we use this now or no? Okay, so we can only use this in a fight, but she could do this right at the beginning. Ah, here we go. So, accomplice. Characters and loyalty points. Okay, it actually doesn't tell me what this is going to do. Huh. Okay, so hold on a second. Oh, here. Pocket full of chips. If they're at least an ally, if, she, if her luck is zero, she gains 25. If she's a friend, when she's in bravado, she has a, one, a plus one bullseye damage multiplier. Requires a pair of cards, shadow swap, two pair, shotgun or three of a kind, light-footed, straight. 
Shadow Step Flush, Brawler, Full House, Rifleman, Four of a Kind, Straight Flush, Royal Flush, and Devil's Luck, Five of a Kind. So you need a Joker like we saw at the beginning. Character gains double luck from missing shots or being shot at. That is, this is such a cool way of doing it. Okay. Now you, you've got warrior, so extra damage on melee weapons. We need at least a pair to get this wild run. Charges, uh, headlong charge increases his base damage by one point for every two spaces he crosses. Oh, neat. Second win at the start of the turn. If his HP is lower than 25%, he gets patching up status. Start of the turn, if he has no cover, he gains five speed. Yeah, this is this is wild. Can I give him a gun? Yeah, look how much useful he's going to be now. Much more useful. Trinkets, they have a special trinket slot. I'm just seeing that now. She's going to use this to heal. Uh, let's give him one of these. Let's give him some beans, because I feel like he's going to be up close a lot. And we'll give some beans here to old man Bill. All right. General See store. Anything in the snow? We're about to enter the general store. We saw a freshly printed wanted poster nailed to the door. The face on it belonged to a grumpy looking old man. Howdy partners. How may I help you this fine day? Who's the man on the wanted poster? It's the previous owner of the store. He had a deal with Richie, who's now dead, who let him overcharge the townsfolk for a share in the spoils. But now that Richie's dead, the scoundrel absconded with his ill-gotten gains and the store's goods too, afraid of his neighbor's wrath most likely. And wrathful we are, sir, hence the bounty. Bring him back to Boomtown, we'll pay you 40 bucks. Double that if you bring back the goods too? <laughs> yeah, sure. Not everything in Harvest 2 is served on a silver platter. Sometimes you must track down your target by searching the map for the right trail. So, tracks. That's cool. He rode toward the mountain pass in the southeast. Good luck tracking him down. Okay. Thrill of the hunt. It's been a while since I felt it. Or anything at all, really. So I wonder if there's a way... Yeah. So this gets tracked here. And I wonder if it'll remind us where that is. Southeast. Let's see what they trade. So there's a pickaxe. It's a quest item. Wild Buffalo Rifle, which we have. Dirty Copper we got. And Coach Gun. So these are all duplicates. And then we have the Skull Crusher as well. It says attack can counter. Interesting. I'm going to buy this because... Obviously, it's a quest item. And maybe that gets us access to... Maybe, maybe this is something we could use to get to that crate that we've been seeing. Track down the traitor. Now, let's see. Do we have, like, a... We've got a map. Cursed tree. Old Mervin. Lost supplies. Collapsed tunnel. Uh, we could make camp and talk to people. Uh, and then here are tracks. Right? South... Hopefully leading east. I guess north is this way, so that is strictly southeast. Um, okay. Let's go check out these other things before we peace out. Red Cross. Found another one of the crosses. This time the victim seemed to be an old man. He was frozen stiff and the ravens were fighting for his eyes. Behind the cross we saw a bundle of clothes and a simple backpack. What the hell's going on here? Be careful, Jin. Maybe this one bites too. Let's examine the body first. At least this one isn't a biter. For a second there, I thought maybe old death has taken a holiday in this frozen hellhole. You're the expert. What do you think about this? Ah, okay. Well, let's continue buffing up Flynn. You know you can trust me, Jin. I'd say that whatever brought the other one back and revived our new friend Bill is effective only in rare cases. It's good news for us breathing types. Check his belongings for five bucks. Thanks. Whoever did this didn't kill him for his things. Yeah, let's get out of here. Whistle pass. Let's check the cursed tree. We can probably speed up our exploring a tad here. The view is both dreadful and fascinating. Ghastly white bark and twisted branches festooned with dozens of bone fetishes. My spine tingled every time I glanced at the grotesque caricature of a tree. Oh, well, we're approaching. Whoever you are, folks. You better stay away from this place. The tree is cursed, I tell ya. Lumberjack. 
what happened. My son, he was a young man, a mere spring chicken when he got here, and now just look at him. Oh, he turned into a tree? Lumberjack took us to a man he claimed was his son, an old coot staring silently at the arthritis deformed hands. <laughs> Maybe he's not a tree. This morning they'd found the tree and noticed a shiny amulet hanging on one of the top branches. Unable to climb that high, they decided to cut the whole thing down. The son got to work but quickly lost all his vigor. Turned out that every strike of the axe put a year on him. He'd cut himself down too. Whoa! Cool. You greedy bastards! That's what you get for messing with the Shadow Dance witchcraft! That tree is a harbinger of doom! Uh, remind me who the Shadow Dance are, dear? Those people are my people, Maka, the leader of the movement, called our people to go into the shadows and wage war against the foreign invaders until they were destroyed or driven away. The ones who answered Maka's call make up the Shadow Dance. They say they're the last hope in the desperate fight. Think we could unhex that curse, Flynn? What do you think about that? No fucking way, that's some crazy evil shit, Jin, way over my head. I'm gonna go for it. Some dialogue options can be locked until the posse member reaches a specific loyalty level, but they also offer higher rewards. Oh. Right. Okay. Companion, companion, not enough points. But Flynn does have it. Use one of your tricks to get the amulet down. Hit points, plus one per kill. Oh, that's huge. It ain't like me doing this sort of thing. Don't cost me nothing. Anyhow, give me some elbow room. I'll see what I can do. Closed her eyes and began muttering a litany of unholy phrases. A crow appeared on the tree, grabbed the shiny amulet in his beak, and brought it down to lay it at my feet. I kneeled to pet the bird, but before I could touch it, the crow turned into a cloud of gray ash. Talisman of the witch. Pocketed the amulet, and we left the lumberjack and his son to their fate. Oh, this is dark, and I love it. I love it. Okay, you're going to take the talisman trinket... Next, we go to Ally, which is here. So she'll always be at basically 25 luck. Right? Which is, I think, great. Plus, like, her swapping and stuff, she's going to constantly be lowering her health. But if she's swapping and then killing, she's going to make that up. So I feel like that suits her, definitely. Uh, so we can investigate the tracks if we target this thing. Wagons of the greedy shopkeeper must have been overloaded with supplies as they left deep tracks in the snow. The trail was following the road southeast, straight towards the mountain pass leading out of the valley. Yeah, excellent. Okay. So I still... Oh, there, we can cross. We couldn't cross here, but I guess this is frozen. Cover your eyes. Nice. All this snow can blind you. Okay, so let's slow this back down to normal speed as we approach here. Old man Mervin. Let's go to the supplies first. Had my eyes on these. Buried in the snow, we found some supplies. Bill says we should mark the spot and let the townsfolk claim it. They need it more than we do. We can get loyalty off this, or we get some whiskey and kidney beans. You know what? I think it's a good opportunity to get loyalty. We're in a pretty good spot so far. Good call. Goddamn saint. We'll do as you say. That's neat. Good call, Carter. Sometimes it's all about the little things. Now, on one hand, I really like that they show us exactly what the outcome is. On the other hand, I'm obviously a big fan of, you know, chance-based encounters and decisions. It'd be kind of cool if it was like, you know, you have a 75% chance for this to result in a loyalty point or, or whatever, right? Okay, old Mervin. Neat old shack stood in the snow. Outside of it, a wiry old man was chopping wood. Let's approach. You living out here by your lonesome? I like being by myself most of the time. What brings you bunch here? Need old shack. Uh, okay. I guess I'm going somewhere. You came to old Mervin for a reason, didn't you? What do you want to know? Oh, I see. Okay, okay. This, I think, is just like... Uh, like the main point of the conversation. Let's ask him what's new. As if this dog acid winter wasn't already enough, that Jinx ghost train just came through. Damn thing brought down an avalanche that blocked the eastern pass. That's the only way in or out of here. And if all that ain't enough piss in your porch, it seems we got a killer on the loose too. Keep your eyes peeled for the red snow if you don't believe me. Heard you might know a way out of this cursed valley. 
Yeah, I know my way around better than anyone. I'll be happy to help you if you help me first. See, a while back, a man from town came to visit me. He was looking for a way out of here just like you, so I told him. And then we played cards, and let me tell you, he cheated me good. When I caught him, though, he grabbed all my money and lit out. I think I can see where this is headed. I don't care much about the cash, but he also took a keepsake from me. You'll know when you find it. I managed to plug him one in the back, but he got away anyway. My legs ain't much good for running and chasing these days. I saw him running towards eastern mountains, though. Nothing there but an old mine. Maybe he went there. So here's the deal. Find him, bring me back what he done took, and I'll help you. Got it? Yeah, absolutely, dude. So everyone's east. Oh, I see. Okay, so this was the main objective. We didn't even check the thing, because I didn't want to accidentally take off somewhere. But I'm guessing it's just not working. Right? Must not be. All right, Mervin, good chat. Collapse tunnel. Check the collapse tunnel. This winter is unnatural. I can. The cave must have been pretty recent. Blood trail leads here. Seems like the Mervin's con man ran out of luck. Okay, so we can clear this passage with our bare hands. Oh, there's the pickaxe. Got it. Or we could use dynamite. So, in both sets, at least so far in, in both of the options where we got cards, the card options are all the same. But with this one, we get extra, we get whiskey because we're uh, using the pickaxe. We get a harmonica for Mervin. So I might as well use this, right? We'll come back later with proper tools. It's nice that it does show you what you could use. So you can investigate, figure out what it is, go get it, and come back. Get to work, folks. We can clear this with our bare hands. We found an outlaw's corpse. Seemed like he was bled to death. He had some useful items with him, including a silver harmonic with the name Mervin carved into it. He got new cards. Let's go. Depending on the arrangement of cards in a character's hand, you can unlock skills and traits. For example, select Laughing Deer and put a pair of jacks in his hand to unlock his skill. Notice that there are some unique traits that can be unlocked only by achieving a certain loyalty level. Way ahead of you, game. Way ahead of you. Okay. Uh, laughing Deer. Pair of jacks. I mean, the speed is obviously great for him. And then Wild Run, we need a pair. So sp speed's good. And HP is good. We got a pair, so now he's got Wild Run. What's awesome is, these guys are going to change throughout, depending on which cards we find. I have to imagine, maybe maybe early on these cards are scripted, because it was like, yeah, give him a pair, right? Um, but we also could give her a pair. Could boost her luck. And that's going to unlock Stroke of Luck. So now, if she has at least 100 luck points, she gets plus 10 bullseye or plus 10 crit. Neat. Because she also has the... Uh, this thing here, when we get to ally, where she'll start at 25 all the time. So that's pretty cool. And we don't have any other things yet. No other combos. And, like, I could be swapping these around and, you know... Uh, trying to kind of min-max this, but I think right now this is this is fine. Okay, so here's the whiskey. Characters unable to perform bullseye, but we add four max HP. All right, let me give you some whiskey. We might as well fill up the inventory slots, right? Yeah. This gun... I don't think this gun can crit. Not sure. Okay, done. Let's take this back to Mervin. You came to old Mervin for a reason, didn't you? Is that harmonica yours, Grandpa? <laughs> He guffawed and snatched the harmonica. He smacked his lips and blew into it, forcing out some false notes. He grinned, happy as a pig in shit. Now, do you know how to leave this goddamn valley? You're welcome. Now, do you know how to leave this damn valley? 
There's always Whistle Pass down to the south. I reckon it's blocked by snow, too. But it's tight enough you might be able to blast through it if you could scrounge up some of that famous blue dynamite from the old mine down that way. I hear tell of a group of bandits set up camp there now, though. In that case, you should try this mountainous path. Scribbled a simple map in the snow. That way you could maybe surprise them from inside. Should at least give you a fighting chance. Whistle Pass it is, then. Okay. Blocked by snow. You could scrounge up some blue dynamite from the old mine. Alright. Sneak into Whistle Pass. Thanks. Okay, so before we do that, we definitely want to go and track down this traitor. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, this is to the other place. No, 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 no. Back here. Do we have to wander in this snow? Yes, we do. There's an avalanche. Red cross again. Flimsy cross, half buried by the avalanche. Flint edge closer to clear the snow off the old woman's face. Crucified I've woman's eyes. She's alive. Flew open, she let out a horrifying howl of pain. <laughs> uh, interesting. Let's give her something to drink. Maybe she'll talk to us. Flynn held the flask to the old woman's cracked lips so she could sip the spirits. From up close, I could see frost on her eyelashes. She gasped and moaned and then thanked Flynn. Her voice was as worn and thin as the soles of a poor man's shoes. Who did this to you? A man, just a man. He made me watch while he killed Stan as he took out his eyes. He was about to end me too, then the avalanche came, crushed me good. Crushed him too, dead I hope. I hung on, ate snow, don't know how long. We should ease her passing. She's not an animal. We need to dig her up. <laughs> Take her to... He's right. She's done. Ooh. It's the kindest thing to do. So, two people are saying we should take her out. Uh, but we could save with Flynn, who we're also trying to boost to the next level anyway. So, let's do that. Thanks for standing up for me back there. Then I'll do it. You hear? It would Don't also be... Don't touch her. Leave us. It would also be interesting if they had negative modifiers, if you didn't choose their option. It'd be tougher to kind of balance things, but... Old woman di Oh. Died with a soft sigh. So... She's saying she's not an animal. We need to dig her up and take her out. And then Bill said he's right, she's done. Jin says it's really the only way. And then she says, fine, I'll do it. We left the place with the weight on our shoulders. I'd seen evil before, but this... Okay, so now we got a, an avalanche to deal with. Finally reached the pass. A huge mountain of snow and rocks blocks the passage. The tracks, the snow, and the frozen river all vanish under the snow. Let's search. Found something. Peddler and his wagons were gone, but near the avalanche we found tracks made by a cart and some horses. Looked like the wagons and the riders had gone northwest along the river. Better hurry up. Okay, so... They're leading... Back to yeah, here, maybe? Yeah. Let's get out of this cold. That's weird. Can we check this place again? No. Huh. Very curious. Secret passage. Ruined cabin. Track down the traitor. Oh, this fucking cold. So that's definitely northwest. Oh, hold on. Right here. The riders must have crossed the river right here. We're getting close. Posse guns at the ready. Oh, okay. Oh, neat. Okay, okay. So now I... Anything we need to investigate is going to be marked by these little... Um, campfires, I suppose. Let's look at the bandit camp here. Few wagons, number of tents, small campfire. Let's scout it. Found a hidden spot from which we could take a good look at the camp. They outnumber us by a few folks. I say we strike fast and hard to even the odds. How about we at least try to parley first? What do you think, Jin? Consider myself a man of reason. 
or taken by surprise. Yeah, no, let's let's boost Flynn's loyalty again. She's gonna go up to four on eight. Hi. Just wanted to thank you for believing in me. And then let's see what they do. We approach the camp waving a white handkerchief. The outlaws agreed to talk, so I told them about the bounty on the shopkeeper and the goods that we intended to collect. You hear him, boys? There's a bounty on that old prick's head. Let me think. The guy's yours. But the supplies? We gotta keep him to survive the crazy winter. <laughs> Alright. So... The guy and one crate from his stock. We got a deal. Or we attack them and try to get... Every oh. If we attack them, though, maybe the guy doesn't survive? Let me think about this. Decide to leave the bandits' camp. Okay. What I'm trying to figure out is... Is there a world in which I can see, like, our ob current objectives in more detail? Let's take a look at the controls. Tutorials, gameplay speed, focus, tactical, no, world map, card panel, character screen, make camp, or map. Yeah, I guess, I guess not. I wonder if I had, if I went back and asked if we get the details again. Wanted poster. Okay, but we don't get the details again. That's fine. So let's do this. We'll try and do it peacefully here. Making that deal or not. You can take the old dog to Boomtown, but we're keeping the supplies. Without them, we're as good as dead. So we would get some supplies back. So maybe the reward wouldn't be as big. Because I think it was double if we got all the items back. But let's see. Yes, we do, my friend. The leader whistled at his men, and they hauled up the shopkeeper and some provisions. We made the exchange and parted ways. You can fully heal the posse members at a camp by using provisions. To do this, click the camp icon and select take a rest. All right. Uh, fine. But we're not going to do that just yet. Howdy, partners. We're back with the traitor. Allow me to fetch our new deputy sheriff. Once the scoundrel's in hand, I'll pay you the bounty. Shopkeeper ran out of the store, returned with the deputy in a matter of minutes, handed the old trader over, and got him our compensation. When asked about the goods, we explained that they'd been stolen by a group of outlaws when we found the fugitive. Okay, so we could have gotten more than this, but we did get provisions out of the deal, which we now know can be used to heal. We still have a decent chunk of money here, um, so I'm okay with that. I don't think there's anything else we need to buy. Oh, wait. Okay, so they have provisions now. Oh, they have a whole bunch of stuff. Didn't have this before. So the Widowmaker versus the Dirty Copper. What's the difference? Oh, the Bullseye buff. Right, okay. Then we got the Desert Ranger for 6 damage and longer range. And then I got the Hawkeye Rifle for 8 damage... Now, how does that differ from the Wild Buffalo Rifle? Oh, because it's got Trick Shot. Yeah. Okay, so that's a nice upgrade. Very cool. Okay, so we do definitely want to buy some of this stuff. Um, I don't know if we're going to need this again. But maybe I'll just I'll buy one so that we always have it. And go from there. Okay, so now all that's left is trying to sneak into Whistle Pass. Secret passage. Let's go. Stuck through the mountain path that Mervyn showed us. Soon we were looking at the enemy camp from above. All right, here we go. So let's do it this way. We're going to set up everything here. Find supplies of blue diamond, or blue dynamite. We get a jack of diamonds and blue dynamite. Okay. Use Jin's shadow skill barrage to hit three enemies at once. No doubt we will try and do that. And she's going to heal when we go in. That's fine. And then I think we're good. So let's launch in now. And then at the start of the next episode, we'll start right in combat. I imagine our time after, episode, like after combat is going to be less as we progress. 
Um, but it seems like it's setting us up with a lot of, you know, side things right now, and I'm curious to see how they handle the storytelling. So, we murder all the trash in here. What then? First of all, we need to get some of that blue dynamite. Yes, that might mean we need to clear out these marauders here. Then we take the explosives to the block pass, and boom, we got a way out. Cool. It's nice they give that little flyover Let's too. Move. Okay. Looks like they know we're here. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying as much as I'm having fun playing. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.